Hello and welcome to another tutorial from SoftwareMedia.com. My name is Kyle. I am the resident video geek here at Software Media. And today I want to show you one of uh, the cool new features in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, and that is the rolling shutter repair effect. Now this begs the question, what is rolling shutter? Uh, many common video cameras like DSLRs or mobile phones don't really record video in a full frame uh, the way that film or a traditional digital video camera might. Instead, the camera sensor scans each line of an image one at a time, generally from top to bottom. So if you have a fast camera motion, a lot of the time you will see some distortion caused by the fact that the image is moving faster than the camera can scan it, and this gives rise to the rolling shutter, or as some people call it, the jello cam problem. As you can see in this clip I have right here, I shot on my mobile phone. I'm panning from left to right, and you can see that it, it kind of wobbles. This should be perpendicular to the ground and it's warped because I was moving faster than my camera could scan the image. So in order to fix or at least mitigate this problem, Adobe Premiere Pro CS6 has an effect for that and that is the rolling shutter effect. So in order to do this, you want to drag your clip to the timeline, obviously. Then you're going to go into your effects panel, go to video effects, distort, rolling shutter repair. Click and drag that to your clip. You can see already, just with the default settings, it's already uh, corrected it quite a bit. But you can see it's still not completely parallel to the ground, so I want to adjust these settings and see if I can make it a little better. First, you have your rolling shutter rate. Now, this is telling Premiere Pro how long it takes to scan a single frame. And the way it's calculated is essentially the time it takes to scan an image divided by the time between each image, between each frame. Uh, for DSLR cameras, this is usually going to be between 50 to 75 percent, and mobile phones are going to be a lot higher, closer to 100 probably. So all you really need to understand is that you click and move this, and you can see how it is slowly distorting the image and affecting it. Now next you have scan direction. Now this is telling the computer what direction the lines are being scanned in. And now I, this is a mobile phone, so it's going to be scanned from top to bottom. Depending on how you're holding your phone is going to determine the scan direction. If you're holding it uh, straight up and down uh, like a regular phone, then it'll be obviously top to bottom. If you hold it on its side, it's going to be obviously left or right, or right to left. And then if you're holding it upside down, bottom to top. I was holding my camera vertically, so it's going to be top to bottom. Now you have a couple of different uh, methods under the Advanced tab for calculating how it's going to correct your video. First is Warp. Now the Warp method uses a certain number of pixels to just warp the image and fix the distortion. The Pixel Motion uses all of the pixels in the video, and this is a much more, um, much more graphically intensive method of interpreting your footage, and it's going to take a much, much, much longer time to render the effect. So, if you use warp, you can go here to detailed analysis, and this will just use more pixels to calculate, and it will give a a better computation. And if you're using pixel motion, you can adjust the amount of pixel motion detail and how many how many pixels it will use to distort your footage. And that's essentially the rolling shutter repair effect in Adobe Premiere Pro CS6. Uh, the best way to get the best results is going to be to um, know your camera that you're using, whether it's a cell phone or a DSLR or a camera with a CMOS chip, and really just experiment and play with it until you get the results that you want. Ideally, you wouldn't even need to use this. You would put your camera or whatnot on a tripod and do slow, smooth pans. But if you can't do that, then you know you can always as they say, fix it in post. 
My name's Kyle. This has been SoftwareMedia.com. Thanks for joining us, and we will see you again next time.